I'm going to explain to you how to stay in control of planned work using Proxuma. So Proxuma is your single source of truth for what everyone's doing in your team. I have my team set up right here. I've selected individual people. You can also select by department or role, whatever you want to make sure that you see what everyone in your team is doing. So these purple items are service calls on tickets, pink are service calls on project tasks, and then yellow is what we pull from Outlook. Because remember, we both pull from Outlook to see people's lunch, time off, stuff like that. And we push all these items to Outlook so that everybody knows what they're doing that day. Now, this black line right here shows exactly where we are today. And so anything that's on yesterday should be completed. What you'll see here is these little complete, complete, new, new. These are the service call status. They're pulled again from auto task. So here you see status complete. If I click on the service call, then I'll see that confirmed right here. The status is complete. So that's all good. Now, if your organization doesn't work with service call status, you can just link the service call status to uh, the last ticket that was closed so that it automatically gets marked as complete when the last ticket is completed. I'll show you how to do that setting right now. So what you're going to want to do is you go into auto task, into admin, features and settings, application wide, system settings, and then service desk right here automatically complete service calls when completing the last non-complete task or ticket associated with the service call. That should be checked. That way your team only has to update the ticket, not also the service call. It's up to you what you prefer. Now, on Monday, I have two service calls that are still on new. So as a dispatcher, I want to know what's going on. So I click on it to see, maybe they left me a note on the service call, Maybe it left me a note on the ticket. And here I see in the description field, I need one more hour. Now, this is not somebody sending something to Proxuma. This is Proxuma pulling from Autotask the description field. As you see right here, I need one more hour. So now that we know what's going on, next question is what we're going to do about it. One option would be just to drag it over. And now we've moved the same service call and we make it smaller so that it only takes up one hour and we're good to go. However, I've now updated the previous Outlook item and the previous service call to the new time and place. You might not want to do that. Another option would be to instead duplicate the service call. So this is another one that's on new. I see no notes. So probably the person still needs the two hours. And I see here a two hour block. It's on Wednesday the 24th at one. So what I'll do is I'll hit the copy button. Now I've created a new service call. What I wanna do then is make sure that it's at the right time and date. Like so, oh wait, it should end at three. There we go. Update. And you'll see it pop up right here. Oh, let's make it two hours. That should be good. So now we have two service calls still on new. Uh, it's all good. You're still in control. So this is one way of having your view. The other way is to just not see any of the completed service calls. You do that by going to the filter to service call status, selecting everything but complete and clicking done. Now it's much easier to spot the service calls that still need doing. Uh, and so staying in control and hunting for those, those uh, tasks that still need doing is a lot easier. Either way, you are now in control of the planned work. The customers no longer see any tickets fall through the cracks and you as a dispatcher can be happy that the work gets done.